Mova. Oh Yay! my God, thank you so much. Thank, <laughs> thank you for, thank you for joining, joining us. us. She's the permanent I wanted to put her on the spot. Oh my God, I need to read that thing again because I, I need... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, get my message? I couldn't I couldn't join earlier. I was on the road. Yeah, but did you get my message? So Princess Adenike Adidonia Jai, she's a permanent secretary in Lagos State. Thank you so much for joining us. And did you get my I message? Did. I sent you a message. Where I was <laughs> I, I did, I did indeed. Okay. And I heard um greatness, you know. Speaking and you know, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining. Now, greatness, you were saying something, and I want to quickly read out something that I had put out when I put out about our, our, our show. Right when I put it out, I had actually written it uh, and put it out on other platforms. Right, and this is what I said because I was saying to Bumi earlier, I said. A lot of people are coming out now and, and shouting about, oh, a senior so-and-so bullied me in school, which is true. Ron and I went to the same school, but I went to the girl's school, he went to the boy's school. I'm his senior by a couple of years. I had a terrible time there. I, had a t I was severely bullied. I had a terrible time in school. I hated school. I was like, and I keep saying that never in my life would I send my kids to a boarding school, ever. And I only had one set of seniors, just one set above me. And it was a horrible time for me. Meanwhile, Ron oh. had a great time in school. He had a wow. wonderful time in school. So imagine, wow. the same school, and the, the experience was different. So, wow. and, but I was not thinking that, okay, a, a lot of people are coming to but the things I have seen within social media, within people living in, in places, and I, I said, I, I put this out, and I want to read it out to you, and then um, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. So... Um, I said, it is very easy to point out bullying in others. Care must be taken that one can recognize when bullying behavior is exhibited, encouraged, or participated in. That self-awareness that self -awareness is very important, or it will be a collection of logs in the eyes seeking splinters. Because you are complaining that senior so-and-so, bullied you but you call your friends to go and drag somebody because the person offended you ah give us the person detail we will join you we drag the person like generator huh? you will form a group inside that group there are cliques you will not decide that oh this set of people when they when they say anything we will shun them we will not talk to them we will them as outcasts we will do this we will be, so we'll be sending subs to them and you are claiming that other people, some that some people are bullies. Are yeah, bully bullies. yourself. You know, <laughs> yeah, you have a house I help. Do. You are being mean to the house help. Hey, yeah. or you, you this child from no background, blah 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 blah. Or your son yeah. brings a child, a girl to your house and says, "I'm mommy, I want to marry this girl." Eh? You want to marry this? Eh? Blah, 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 blah. So the bullying circle is bigger than what we want to. So that thing where he said that empathy. Because I was bullied and I had to come to a place of forgiveness for my bullies. Wow. For, not wow. for them, but for myself, for my own peace of mind. Because I'm, I I'm love that. diagnosed bipolar, right? So I, mm. I have bipolar and I also have chronic depression. And I had to take ownership of, but I'm low end. So I don't use medication because I'm, I'm also on some very strong medication. But I had to take care of my own mental space. And the best way I could take care of my mental space was be like, they don't know any better. Let me leave them, let them be. So some, 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 in some groups, I'll go, I'll post what I want to post, get out. Whether they like it, they don't like it, <clears throat> it doesn't concern me. Some groups, I'm very, very involved. I will play, I will do that kind of thing because, okay, I can see that these are mature people, they have sense. I can be myself with them. I can play with them. Some um, Facebook pages, I'm just there like this. I don't talk anything. <laughs> you know, on Twitter, some suggests will come up. And me, I always tell Ron, I say, me, I always give any news that comes up on Twitter or Facebook three days. Because within that three days, the truth, 
the in between and the line will come out at the same time. But if you rush around, yeah. So yeah. that thing where you said empathy for both the bully and the bullies, because even yeah. if you're being bullied, you have yeah. to really look at things and go, wow, there isn't really much going for you in your life. If mm. you are actually actively, you know, you're gingered, your 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 swagger is gingered that. <laughs> Ah, well, am I ignoring you? We are going to ignore this person. We are not going to talk to them. We are going to. Uh, uh, your life must be really small. There must be <laughs> going on. Yeah. life, you know. Yeah. So you have to have a bit of sympathy, like a hey, yeah, uh, mm. okay, you know. Mm. So please, I, I'm I'm enjoying what you're saying. I, I, does anybody else have a question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Madame Bumi <laughs> wants to yes, say yes. something. <laughs> I just want—I don't want to hog the whole thing. I just wanted to pick back up what Abby was just saying. Um, first about the gr about girls. This is a fact. And, oh, and Nigerian women, black women, are especially susceptible to this herd mentality thing. As someone mm. who grew up amongst them, I know us. <laughs> uh, and I have to, you know, I have to carry myself very, very delicately on Facebook so that I don't get. I know some. I have so many friends, people like Bumilayo Day, are the same age, just getting dragged up and down because we the, uh, we're so clicky. And I just try to avoid those clicks because the minute you're into a click, there's a lot of peer pressure, even for adults, to behave a certain way. I mean, I cannot tell you the amount of scandals I have witnessed on that stupid Facebook. I'm on grown ass women pulling mm. each other down it's crazy however and this is the point i wanted to make what i just said is true and i'm not involved in most of that you can ask kind of for me but it doesn't mean it's not perfect and this is the problem that some of us make is that we have blind spots and i posted about that this morning i don't join clicks i don't like to you know join people who want to bully people or let's drag let's drag this i don't have time for that but i always had this impression that I myself, I'm a good person. I don't bully people. And several people had tried to hint at me over the years that uh, actually I, you can be verbally abusive. But in my mind, I didn't see it. I'm a good person. Mm. If I'm abusing you, it means you have done something to deserve it. And I was totally married to this idea that I'm so perfect, I don't abuse anybody. It took a long time. It took a lot of spiritual work, actually. And I'm surprised at how much spiritual and uh, psychological overlap constantly. Like when Grace said, uh, both the bully and the bully deserve sympathy. That is a spiritual understanding that you have to get that we are both capable of both. We are capable of being bullied and being the bully, right? And then there's something else that Abby also said that just sounded spiritual to me, but I don't want to get off topic. But um, what I really wanted to say was it took me a lot of spiritual work. It took meditating. It took reading Carl Jung and understanding shadow work for me to realize I had a blind spot about my own ability to be verbally abusive because mm. I'm, I'm so considerate and kind. I didn't realize that there are times when specifically when I'm stressed or under pressure, I'm mean in my speech and I did not even know. If you told me I was a bully, I would have fought you because I'm the kind of person that's always fighting True. for the underdog, I, you know, justice warrior, this, that, the other. So some of it is not even intentional as well. And we just, we're not always aware of how we're coming across to other people. Yeah. You are so right, Bumi, because <laughs> Bebe Lube, I've been accused of Bebe Lube. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I accept it. I accept it mm. because again, my belief is if you put it on on social media, then it is for us to chuck our mouth inside. <laughs> and then I was told, "Hey, you chuck your mouth. It is that doesn't concern you." I was like, "Ah, okay." And I have to sit down and think. I'm like, "Okay, hmm, okay," <laughs> you know. And it's that that thing of self awareness, and you know, for some. People, they think that when they tell you something and you go back and you reflect, mm -hmm. that is you leaked. Eh, ah, mo fukpa, olo jokoni. Again, <laughs> <to> yeah, <laughs> is that how small your mind is? Yeah. I'm going to sit down and reflect on myself and think about, okay, how am I going to, because you said some things, at least, if if three, four people are saying something, then there must be some, some elements of truth. Exactly. Even if it is a group of 
clicky people that have decided that they want to form click and they want to do this to this person, blah, blah, blah. There will still be some element of truth in their click. Mm -hmm. And you sit down and you look through it and you pick that and say, ah, okay, it's true. Ah, you too, your mouth, eh, everything you must choke mouth inside, now waiting. You know that kind of stuff. And you work your way through it. Right. But it, it's very, very interesting how a lot of people vocal don't have that people awareness. fight for others who, who feel that they are Votron and, and they lack that self-awareness that mm -mm. There's some, maybe, there's you are, maybe you're Votron. There's something called um, Johari's window. Can everybody hear me? Yes, yeah. we can. Yeah. Yes. I was going window. to tell Princess to talk about the Johari window. So I'm I'm Johari glad she jumped window. on it. I have never. Yeah, heard I can that. spell it J O H A R I. So princess, go ahead, ma'am. Johari's window, and Johari's window is just um, just looking at um everybody's lenses and your own lenses, looking at yourself. So on one corner of the window, just imagine a square, and a square that is also divided into four, just like a window. Um, there's one which is what you know about yourself. That's mm. one part of the window. So you know all of those things, some of those things that you know about yourself. Then the next you know, little square is about what other people mm. know about you. And so those are, for example, somebody who's saying you are doing your boy okay, you're putting your mouth. And you might not even be aware that you're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What other people know about you. Now, there's another square window that is what you both know. So what you know about mm -hmm. yourself, what other, and you know that other people know about you. So that's like a common space. That mm -hmm. window is like a common space where everybody is aware. You understand? I'm aware that you are aware of what I am aware of. Mm -hmm. And then there's another window where you yourself don't know. Other people don't know. So that's the blind spot. Mm. And it's yeah. situational. It's situational. Now, you all know that there are certain things that would happen to you. And you'd react in a certain kind of way. And you might, oh my goodness, did I just react like that? It could be negative, mm. it could be positive. So as you are in shock about your reaction, other people are also in shock about that mm. reaction because that's the first time both of you, you are you the questioner and the, you're just discovering that side of you. And that's one thing that's going to be a continuum. You can never know yourself in its entirety. It's not possible. All our actions and reactions are situational. But some mm. we are already familiar with because it happens to us all the time. So we know exactly how we're going to react. We know exactly what we're going to say because it's, it's sort of part of our behavioral pattern. But there are some things that is still locked in there inside of us. And that's where you say they, they say some people, they snap. Mm. You know, when they, that phrase that they say, oh, yeah. somebody's just, oh, I think it just snapped. Or well, when you get triggered. <laughs> You understand, and that 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 snap simply means that there's something that you've never exhibited before. That a certain action brings about that reaction in you, hmm. and you will be surprised or amazed at will, yourself. Yeah. Sometimes it's a total calmness where you would have otherwise took a gun, hmm. and you seen yourself really calm, and everybody's looking like I can't believe that she. Um, that's unusual. And then they're watching. Is, she, is, 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 is something going to happen? Is the bubble going to burst any minute from now? Because they're still trying to get you. And you yourself, you're thinking about it. Say, hmm, how, where did that come from? I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything. You know? So that's something else you've discovered about yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you hold on to it. If it's a positive thing, you want to keep allowing it to happen. Because you've discovered that you have the ability to be calm yes. in a situation such as this. And then mm. you go back into that and draw it back whenever you get into that situation. And if it's a negative one, you recognize it 
and then you start talking to yourself, I don't ever want to be like that again. I've mm. done something that I have the ability to be that bad or mm. to react that badly. Mm. And so you start talking to yourself, and that's how we find a balance in life as we move along. That's how we find our balance. That's where you begin to now, the spirituality comes in to say, you know, what's good, what's not good? What is good, what is evil? And you start balancing your life. I don't want to tell you what's evil. I want to be 99% good. Um, I just leave that little fraction because you never know what's still inside of you that you are not aware of. Mm. So, mm. you know, so you can Google Joari's window and he will explain more to you. Well, oh, I'm wow. definitely I going learned to so much that. from Thank that. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Before we go on, I just want to uh, jo uh, um, Asemota, John is here. John, um, can you please put on your camera? She's actually several years my junior in the same school. So maybe wow. she can talk about Amazing. her own experience. Maybe her own experience was Welcome. better than mine.